to better understand cougar movements is becoming a priority for wildlife managers in Alberta. In recent years, the number of cougars expanding beyond their traditional range is growing, and that means more conflict between landowners, cattle, and pets. We do think that some of the cougar expan population expansion is, is a result of, uh, of increasing white-tailed deer populations, and so there's more food for cougars in areas where there wasn't before. So 52.11. Cougars can cover a huge amount of territory, so the more time spent poring over maps and detailing a plan will go a long way to hopefully discovering an active trail. And let me get to the radio. Yeah. Driving backcountry oil and gas roads are the first step. Keeping your eyes open for fresh tracks. So it's not super fresh. I'm sure the dogs could work it, but I'm not convinced that it's a cougar. Unfortunately, this set of tracks belonged to a lynx, so it was time to check in with outfitter Lorne Heinbow to see if he had better luck. We're gonna pursue this one any further. We gotta see if we can find a fresher track on one of these trails. Contributing to the expansion of the mountain lion's range is the fact after kittens reach the appropriate age, they're forced out into finding their own new territory by the adults. As a female cougar produces kittens, and those kittens grow up, and they leave mom and go out looking for a territory of their own. They need to find unoccupied space, and generally that unoccupied space is to the east and more in the fringe habitat. Well, as it turned out, Lorne has discovered some tracks, so it's time to change up the tactics. So what we're trying to do, we know we've got a track over there, it's got a little snow in it. Our tactic here today is to try to get around this and and get it inside a block. Satisfied the cougar did not make its way out of the block, Lauren puts the dogs to work. But given the age of the tracks, he thinks this just might turn into nothing more than some exercise for the expert trackers. This is the track that we got about a half inch of fresh snow last night. So far the dogs are still getting scent out of it. It could be a tall order. To everyone's surprise, in under an hour, the dogs came through and had a cougar up a tree. Now it's important to note, a decision on whether or not to tranquilize the cat is made on a few factors. How high and secure the animal is in the tree, and if the tree can be climbed to lower the cougar safely to the ground. In this case, the answer to those questions was yes. Once on the ground and resting comfortably, biologists can get to work gathering DNA samples and taking other basic information. Yeah, it's a female. And from this moment on, this female will be known as number 960. And with the help of that radio caller, her movements will be tracked for the next two years, which will prove helpful to Dr. Mark Edwards from the Royal Alberta Museum, who is doing a study on cougar kittens. Our part in this role is to look at recruitment and then survival of kittens, and then look at the factors that affect that survival, both with the kittens and then how that affects their uh, the, the mother in terms of movement, habitat ecology. All of this information will be critical as Fish and Wildlife weighs its various management options with the ultimate goal being to reduce the number of cougar encounters between livestock and people. So we just implemented a, what we call a boot hunt where game hunters can buy a cougar tag and harvest a cougar anytime from September 1st through December 31st in those areas that are outside of the traditional cougar hunting range.